Hey guys, Tepco Sack Repair today working on a still HT103. This is an extended chainsaw. This is a four mix engine. The only thing I've done so far is take off the valve cover right here, which is very important that that gasket is good right there. And I've uh, taken off the top cover and I've also taken the spark plug out because you got to make sure it's at the top dead center. There's actually a mark on the flywheel, but the flywheel is down inside of there. So in order to see it, it's difficult. So if you just take this off, you turn it to top dead center. Now you need to be a top dead center of the compression stroke, stroke, and you'll know that because if you watch the valves, if it's if it's at the top dead center of the crossover stroke, you'll see one coming down, and as soon as you go past top dead center, the other one will go down. You don't want to be there. You want it to go all the way down and come back up again until you're at top dead center of the compression stroke. So I'm all, I'm using a feeler gauge made just for this. All right. So and you can see here these are super tight. So when they're super tight, they're not going to let uh, the valves close all the way. And you're not going to have any good compression. So let me show you how to adjust these. I'm going to be using an 8 millimeter right on the top here. And let me get you set up and trap pot so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so hopefully you can see it from here what I'm doing. Here we have the valve. Here we have the adjuster. These are not um, lock type. You don't uh, have a nut that you have to loosen and then make your adjustment and then tighten it back down. This is just a simple 8 millimeter for the adjustment. So move the spark plug wire out of the way. Stick it underneath here. I'm just going to loosen it. Until we can get, there we go. All right, so now we got some play in there. Tighten it back up until I get a little bit of drag. Lose, leave that right there. Let's do the other one. All right, got a little bit of drag there. Now you should be able to move your valves a little bit, your, uh, your rockers. We have a little bit of play in there, and then we should have some... Compression again, back together again. Now, I highly recommend replacing this brass washer as well as the gasket. Because they're sealing components of this. Fuel goes up through here, the two stroke fuel goes up through here, and this all needs to be replaced. All right, I'm going to have new ones on order here. They're not here yet, some delays for some reason. But I want to show you how to adjust those valves. Choke on, prime it. All right, guys, so that's all there is to it. I made an older video with the form mix, adjusting the valves, and people were complaining they couldn't see what I was doing. That's why I zoomed in on this one. Hopefully, you got a good view on uh, how to do that. It's a real simple job. But, guys, listen, it's really super important that you replace that gasket and the the washer that's on the top bolt for the valve cover gasket. It's a sealed system. It's just like if you were doing a, um, a pressure test on a two-stroke, you need that to be sealed because everything, your fuel, everything goes through, oil goes through there, lubricates everything. You don't want any leaks in there. You'll suck air and lean it out. So, um, guys, you need the feeler gauge that's tapered because on those rockers, it's got two little tabs on the sides. It makes it real narrow to get it in there. So you just got to get it. I'll put a link in the description. It comes with the feeler gauge, the uh, washer for the top, and the gasket. It's not a lot of money. You just can't get it if you're doing this job. But, guys, hopefully you liked this video. Please hit the like button. Subscribe, hit that bell for further notifications. Until next time, Tepco Sack Repair.